We know that 10 to 15 percent of GDP in, in many developed countries is dedicated uh, to health care. So it's obviously an economically significant uh, element. It also leads to people being well, which means people enjoying work, enjoying life, increased life expectancy. And uh, it's very interesting to see people from pharma, uh, vaccine, device, diagnostics. Uh, we can run down the list. A lot of different industries represented and, and each seeing how we all contribute to the pie. And especially on the table today has been chronic diseases. I just came out of the online social media session that we did as a workshop this afternoon and for me it was really interesting because I think it's showing uh, how much of a need there is to engage with the patients, with the end users in healthcare uh, and how much discussion there is amongst the users themselves. What I enjoyed both from the background I come from is, is healthcare provision. It does, was a mixture of biotech therapeutics uh, but also healthcare providers or hospital focus, which is a rather unusual, which is some, sometimes a little undercovered. And obviously the huge global breadth, that, uh, talking to somebody about India, Brazil at the same time, that's, it's, it's something that's extremely rich. And also a lot of things that they're doing in these markets that I can probably implement or somehow use then with what I do in Switzerland, for example. Well, for me, it was really an eye-opening um, experience uh, with uh, regards to the emerging markets, um, or uh, as uh, Roque d'Olivier said, maybe not so emerging anymore, um, and the immense uh, opportunities that healthcare has in engaging with these markets. I think beyond all the contents and the interesting topics we talked about, the, one of the main takeaways is really the level of enthusiasm in the alumni community and that we had people here from South America, from the United States, from India, from South Africa. 